What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Artur Betterbiev versus Anthony Yard. Now, when this fight was first announced, a lot of people didn't like it, right? Which I can understand why. We thought we were going to see Dimitri Bivol versus Arter Better BF for that light heavyweight title, undisputed champion, right? But we are going to get it biting. Arter Better BF can get past Anthony Yard. But nonetheless, this is not going to be an easy fight. This is going to be a good matchup. I personally am looking forward to it. Let's get into it. Let's start with the beast, Artur Better BF. 18 wins, zero losses, 18 wins by way of knockout. That's a crazy stat line. He knocks out everybody. Everyone who he has been in the ring with has never made it the whole 12 rounds. They have been stopped within the fight. I don't think he's ever made it to the full distance, right? I think Enrico Cooling in 2017, I think it brought him to the 12th round and then he got stopped within 15, 20 seconds of that round in that fight. I think one of the reasons why Better BF has had the success in the ring as he has, especially as he continues to age, because he's not the youngest man out there, but I credit a lot of that to me, in my personal opinion, to his discipline away from the ring, right? He lives a very disciplined life, which often carries over to the gym and to the ring. In all of the fights I've seen of him, he never looks overwhelmed or flustered or in trouble inside the ring. He's very stoic, right? Even when he's, even when adversity hits him and we've seen him face some adversity, right? When he fought Jeff Page Jr., I believe it was in 2014, he was dropped with the right hand in the opening round of that fight. Then he gets back up and takes him out in the next round. He fought Alexander Johnson the following year, and he touched the canvas again in that same fashion, and he came back and got the stoppage shortly after he was knocked down. Now, when he fought Marcus Brown, Brown was doing well early, and then Better Biev got a cut on his eye. They were almost in jeopardy of stopping the fight. Then he goes on to get the stoppage later in that fight. I say all of that to say this. I think sometimes when he is faced with adversity, or maybe he's a little bit shocked in some form, it's almost like it wakes him up. It's like a switch is turned and then he goes to work. It's like that extra, he becomes extra focused, extra sharp, and he puts it all together and he turns up the level of himself, right? He, he, he elevates himself to another level. Not everyone can bounce back from that type of setback in real time, right? But he does. Now we know he is as heavy handed as they come. Right. He puts guys down with shots that don't even look like it hurts. Right. But then you see them once the shot connects, their knees start to buckle and they drop to the canvas. I think his footwork, though, is better than most people give him credit for. I think he's a lot more of a tactical thinker than he will get credit for. There were times early in his career, yes, where he would just come forward, let his hands go, and just brutally impose his will and his power on his opponent, and that would be the way how he gets the stoppage. But as the competition got harder, you start to see some of the angles he takes to be more offensive or defensive, right? We saw that against Joe Smith when he stepped aside. When Joe Smith was coming in, he laterally moved, stepped aside, and caught him with an overhand right. That, that's not something that you do on accident. There's technique and strategy behind how he got that stoppage. But we're going to get into that very shortly here. I think Yard has better hand speed than better BF. And I think he's more explosive than better BF. But it's not the speed that has always been his strength. He doesn't need to wind up for his shots to hurt. He can stay at a mid-range spot and throw overhand rights and hooks and body shots you can hear his shots when he throws them and when they land. You can hear that thudding sound. He's very heavy handed and doesn't always have to land cleanly to get you in trouble. But every time that a shot does connect, you're feeling it and it's breaking you down just a little bit. The ricochet of the shot definitely starts to go through your body. Now, Better BF is not the fastest starter, right? But in his last fight against Joe Smith Jr., he turned up early. Partially because Smith was bringing the pressure 
right? But Better BF didn't change his game plan. He didn't panic. He used his footwork to pivot laterally and move in the ring and waited for Smith to come to him and just broke him down with each shot. He found his groove early, got confident, and you could see it was only a matter of time before that until Joe Smith was going to end up like the other fighters that Better Beef has been in the ring with. Joe Smith tried to take the fight to him, and I don't think that was the wrong game plan, in my opinion. I just think Better Beef got confident early, and he let his hands go a lot sooner than he usually does. And he showed, you can't just come at me and expect to just beat me full on force and trade shot for shot with me. Smith also wasn't the best defensive guy either. And he tried to trade shots with Better Beev and Styles make fights. And this was a fight that was tailored to Better Beev and it definitely, definitely showed. But again, I think Better Beev moves a lot better than people will give him credit for. I, I just don't think he's really had the opportunity to be able to put that on showcase. But let's talk about Anthony Yard. 23 wins, two losses, 22 wins by way of knockout. One of those losses he did avenge against Lyndon Arthur. I like Anthony Yard. Lions in the camp, right? He's strong. He's, he's a big puncher who I think has learned and improved from his losses. He's always been a confident guy, right? But in his recent three fights, he's fighting with that confidence and moving with that confidence. He's more composed and not trying to brawl and bang it out with a guy, but he's being more patient and picking his spots a lot better. He has the power. He's always had the power and never needed to force his shots. Against Stephanie Koikov, we expected Yard to get the stoppage, right? But I like how he won that fight with the variety of shots and the accuracy of shots. Every shot had intent. Every shot had power. But he used his jab to distract him before going to the body and then coming back to the head. And he was consistent with his work rate and never put himself in trouble of being clipped or countered with a shot from Koyka. He could have got the stoppage in the first round, but you could see that he wasn't trying to force the fight. He was trying to set it up and he knew when the right time came when the opportunity was there that he would capitalize off of it and make him pay. And it's how he won that fight that I really liked. Against really? Lyndon Arthur in the rematch, he came out fast, he came out aggressively, closed the gap and kept the fight within reach and never really let Arthur get comfortable in the fight. He smothered him and let off shots and flurries, not just one and done shots. I thought he fought very well on the inside in that fight. And Arthur, to me, just looked overwhelmed or maybe even a little bit shocked at the tempo of that fight. You mix that with Yard's power, and it was a formula that got him the win by stoppage. Now, let's not make no mistakes. Anthony Yard has that type of skill and power that can cause Better BF some problems. Better BF could be in trouble if he is going in there and taking Anthony Yard for granted and not taking and taking him lightly. You got to respect his power because every shot that Anthony Yard throws, it's bad intentions and he really sits down on them and he is heavy handed as well. Not as heavy handed as Better BF. This isn't a guy that you can take a lot of consistent shots with and expect to stand there. Now, with that being said, he's going to have to fight his fight. If he gets better BF in trouble, he cannot let him get off the hook. He has to be able to let it rip in the round that he is hurt in because he might not get that opportunity again. Remember when Anthony Yard did that against Kovalev in that eighth round, right? He did everything. He let his hands go. He tried to close out the show, but Kovalev, to his credit, was tough and found a way to hang in there, but he did punch himself out. I would have liked him in that round. I think if he would have slowed it down just for a second, he would have been able to get better shot selections and maybe even got the fight that way. But after that eighth round, you could see Anthony Yard just didn't have that, that energy, right? That output anymore. He punched himself out and Kovalev slowly caught a second win and got the stoppage later in that fight. But when the opportunities are there, he needs to be strong in his spots and seize the opportunities when it's there. So who wins? I'm not counting out Anthony Yard by no means. When you have that type of power, you can't just throw that away and throw it to the side, not give him a shot to win this fight. He could connect with the shot and end the show. With better be it's what you what you see is what you get, right? You're going to get a guy who is disciplined, powerful, has good placement in his punches, and is heavy-handed as they come. 
But how is he going to come out? He's a slow starter. Can Anthony Yard jump on him early and make him uncomfortable? Can he stay composed if he gets him hurt and not just fire off shots as he did against Kovalev? Both of these guys aren't particularly the best defensive fighters. They both are there to get hit at the right time. Whoever sets the jab up early is going to have a key advantage in this fight. I think the jab is going to play a big advantage in this fight. Yard is going to have to respect the power, but he can't give him too much respect where it makes him hesitant. I also think one of the misconceptions about Better Biev is thinking that he can't box. The man can box. We saw some of the movements that he was doing against Joe Smith. We saw he was using the jab. We saw how he was putting his placement on display. We saw some of those boxing abilities and IQ in the ring against Joe Smith Jr. But he hasn't really had the opportunity to put that in full showcase because of how powerful that he is and how heavy handed he is and what he can do with the strength that he does possess. My heart says go with Anthony Yard to win the fight, but my mind is telling me to go with my adopted countryman, Artur Berbia. While I think Anthony Yard's athleticism and explosiveness and, and speed and quickness, I think that will be good strengths for him in this fight. And I think he will have some good moments and possibly opportunities where he could close out the show. But as much as I believe Lions will be in the camp and the Lions will be in the camp, I think this weekend, some of those Lions will get let out of the camp this weekend. I have Arthur Better BF have winning by KO in this one. I think this one goes over six rounds, though I think the knockout happens a little bit later in the fight. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comment section below. If you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and will be greatly, greatly appreciated. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this long, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. And we'll definitely see you next time.